take one e-learning welcome memorial and central students to at home learning with mrs scott you are required to spend about 20 minutes on your art activity and i'm hoping that you really enjoy it if you have extra time at home please feel free to spend more time than 20 minutes because it would be a great use of all that time that you have at home of course after you're done with all your other e-learning Wink. Um, <laughs> whenever I'm at home and it's really cold outside and frosty, I'm all the time thinking about a beautiful Caribbean place to go. And so I was just wondering if you guys know what kind of tree fits in your hand. Give you a couple seconds. A palm tree. <laughs> that one's for free. Okay, so let's get to what we're doing here. Um, this is my little at-home studio spot. It's kind of generous to call it a studio, but this is where I have intentionally kept all of my art things out so that I will take time to spend being an artist so that I am actively pursuing what I love and also able to better understand the processes I'm always expecting you guys to go through every day. And... I found something really cool on tate.org.uk slash kids. There um, is a exploration of animals that I'm going to link, on, link you into here. And I just thought this would be something neat to explore while you're at home today. Um, so gather up whatever you have at home, crayons, colored pencils, if you have paint, ask permission. I don't know what the rules are at your house. There's paint, glue sticks, scissors. And I'm gonna even encourage you because sometimes students say, I didn't have anything at home to make art out of. So here I have my DiGiorno pizza box and it's straight out of the recycling um, bin. So I bet if your family eats, you have some kind of cardboard um, hanging around. So this is really cool because if you have a cereal box or pizza box, you could even make art out of cans. Just make sure you wash them and be careful on any sharp edges. Um, there's like a million things you can do out of recycled materials. So try that. But the cool thing is you can cut a box to have a nice surface to create some art on. Of course, you might want to trim it up once you get it actually apart. And why stick with square? Why not go with something more unique? So I'm going to create a canvas in a organic shape or just a made up shape to start my picture of an animal. Okay, it's kind of reminding me of an animal right now. And um, since I have this ready, I'm going to go ahead and show you. These are some things I was working on last year, <clears throat> too long ago. I really should have some more by now. But um, a few of my animal portraits that I was working on learning mixed media a little bit more. I just wanted to, sometimes students ask, are like really surprised that I actually make art. And I think that's funny. But at the same time, okay, so now you know. I try. Um, what else can I tell you? Okay, so it's always best to plan out with pencil first. Well, not always, because artists do break rules, and then that's okay too. But I'm just going to encourage you, go ahead and plan it out with pencil first, since we're kind of beginners around here. Pick an animal from the tate.org.uk slash kids, or maybe think of your own animal. Um, I'm going to go with the penguin. So for my penguin, I'm just going to sketch it on here. And your penguin doesn't have to look just like the one on the picture, of course. You can add whatever you imagine to be in that penguin. Sometimes, or the animal, sometimes it might even end up 
being a little more cartoonish and simple, which is fine. So then once you're done with that, um, we've learned a lot in art that it kind of helps our image to stand out if we outline it. So you may want to pick a dark color like black or navy blue, even a deep purple to outline, and then you can add your color in. Be sure to fill your space and bring it to Mrs. Scott or take a picture and email it to me at gscott at valpo.k12.in.us. I hope I got that right. If not, it's in the e-learning page. How'd I do for my first video for e-learning? Give a hand clap for Mrs. Scott. Have a good day. Don't get frostbite. See you on Friday.